Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play The Outer World is the wrong to Let's Play The Witcher is the wrong. I'm sorry. Let's play The Inquisitor, where we are on the way into. No, not into. Into a palace region of this game, where we are gonna meet the Countess, the Lady of the Palace. Here at last, Inquisitor. Follow me. Follow Nontle. Nontle? Nontle? The lady. The fair lady. Hello. That looks quite beautiful. You took your time getting here. Making us wait. I didn't know I was supposed to hurry. <sighs> your arrogance will one day be your undoing, Inquisitor. Does that worry you? Quite the contrary. I get the feeling that you're not finding the How did you figure decisions. that out? Well, I have a few talents. I wonder what they are. One of them would please you greatly. I don't think so. I mean, I know that's way too, especially in the times where this was built, you know, um, hundreds of years ago. It, I guess, was even more expensive than today. I don't know. But, I mean, they spend too much money, right? And to build that now is too much money to, con considering that people, you know, starve today, or not, that people starve to death. And still, it would be kind of cool to live somehow like that, right? Although it's way too big, especially for one person. Imagine that. Anyhow, can I do anything for some people here? Imagine how crazy that would be to live here all by yourself, man. Without all them people, obviously. Except, you know, cleaning crews and stuff. And cooks. And housemaidens. Okay, I guess that would be... Living here by yourself is impossible. I guess. If you accept you do all the stuff by anyway, sorry. Wait here. I'll notify the Countess of your arrival. Ooh. I doubt you'll be interested in the displays gathered in the palace, but... Have a look at them if you'd like. Inspect the displays in the hall. Will do. And I've... I thought that was the fair lady. Okay, we are gonna start here, though. A piece of the Paderboom. Interesting. I thought all pieces of the broken cross were kept at the Vatican. St. Peter's sword, the blade used by the first apostle to cut off Malchus's ear in the olive grove. It hasn't lost its edge. St. Andrew's armor. Legend says that Quintus Sutorius Macro broke his sword on it. Ah, okay, she's cleaning. Anything else? Yeah, up there, right? I was not sure if I am forbidden to go up here, but obviously not. Silver pieces of purification. It was with them that Judas redeemed his sins. And what is that? Amazing. These are the blueprints for St. Peter's lockpicks. Supposedly, they could open any lock. Okay, two more pictures. The Wailing Maidens, whom Jesus met on his way to Golgotha. Alright, let's run to the other side. And there's one big picture here too. Hello. St. Damien the Thinker. Okay, I would say that was all, right? No, 
nothing more is highlighted. Hello, Master Madderdine. Countess. Let us walk in the garden. Where, yeah, where else, man? Lady. Let us have a good conversation. I've heard many good things about you, Master Madderdine. That's not the gardener. It is said Anyways. you are the pride of the holy office. Educated, intelligent, and ruthless. Did I leave anything out? Um. It is nice to hear that you think highly of me, my lady. I didn't say that. You supposedly inquired of the brothers Finkelstein about a certain dagger. Might I have a look at it? Of course. She has a weird accent, doesn't she? A weird um, South American, Amer Sovereign American, I mean. Not Don't South American, me English. About it, my lady. Many things. It is a Pugio. A dagger used by Roman legionaries. It is at least 1,500 years old and belongs to me, although it never made its way into my hands. I don't understand. A certain merchant imported it for me. Unfortunately, Nantel was not able to collect it. The merchant, in good faith, gave the dagger to a woman wearing the necklace of my missing servant. My lady. Are you suggesting that someone impersonated your servant to acquire the dagger? A Pugio is not worth much. I believe this person wanted to hurt me. They collected the dagger from the merchant and then threw it away, which is why you found it. Ultimately, however, the blade found its rightful owner. Give it to me, please. Sadly, I cannot return it to you, Countess. The dagger was used to perform a bloody ritual. It constitutes evidence of a crime. I must keep it until the investigation is over. Yes, I heard about the poor girl found near the inn. My lady, do you have any idea as to who might have killed the harlot? Sadly, I don't. I imagine the Cardinal tried to accuse me of this crime. I hope that you didn't pay it any mind, Master. I've been helping the least fortunate for years. Thus, the claim that I murdered a poor Jezebel on a whim is an insult to my dignity. What is your opinion of the Cardinal, Countess? His Eminence is a leech. Possessed by a lust for wealth. He's poisoning the town instead of healing it. Beware of him, Inquisitor. As he can be cruel and soulless. His beliefs border on heresy. He thinks that humankind is inherently evil. And hence deserves annihilation. That is a serious accusation, Countess. Can you support it with evidence? Sadly, I can't. The Cardinal said it to me many years ago in a private conversation. Do go to his office, though. I'm sure His Eminence's private correspondence will confirm my words. Easier said than done. Follow the example set by our Lord, Master Madardine. Ability is born from desire. Oh, Don't waste still. time on My trifles, lady. Master Medina. I Medellin. noticed that you have an interest in antiquity. Undoubtedly, yes. Is that a passion of yours? More like my life's purpose. I am a devout follower of Christ's teachings, so I study them in every way I can. I don't understand. You study the mysteries of faith by collecting old sculptures and paintings. How does that work? It's simple, really. 
By surrounding myself with items that may have been in the presence of our Lord, it is as if I am communing with our Lord himself. My lady, have you heard anything about a vampire lurking in the town? I know nothing about that. I've only heard that you're looking for it. Would you be willing to tell me the name of the merchant who imported the Pugio for you? I'd like to talk to him. I'm sorry, Master Matadine, but I cannot do this. I promised him discretion. I insist, Countess. I gave him my word, Inquisitor, and I do not intend on breaking it for you. You'll find answers to many of your questions in the Cardinal's office, Master Metadine. I know it's not an easy place to infiltrate. Nevertheless, you should try, for all our sakes. My lady, the guests have arrived. Farewell, Inquisitor. I hope we meet again. And I hope we don't. The exit is over there, Inquisitor. What a nice lady, right? What a mess. The Cardinal accuses the Countess, who accuses the Cardinal, and the Mayor accuses them both. I wonder how much truth there is to what Isabella said about His Eminence's office. I'm tempted to find out. Tried to gain access after the library is closed. Oh boy, I for a second thought the game crashed again. Okay, it just loaded. That's good. Now, go to the library. Okay. Then, out of this wonderful garden and back to the library. Alright, hold to exit. We will. And we exit this wonderful little piece of earth. Let him be cursed who does the Lord's work half-heartedly. Let him be cursed who keeps back his sword from blood. Okay, that's a little dark. I have to admit. But fair enough. Okay, then maybe in the last episode I was a little bit off. I thought there was a different kind of gate there anyways. Then we will today quickly re Okay, this time we take the right exit. I have to admit this becomes a little bit annoying that it is constant constantly crashing the game. If I to really say that becomes quite annoying. But who am I to judge, right? Some devilish force work to bridge, Navi, uh, Neri, a witness, no culpus to be found. Whenever I ask if they've seen anything, people just put up their dump expression as if they were being asked how much they'd blown in the inn, or even worse, in the warehouse. The whorehouse, sorry. The first one to notice the hole was Baldwin Hansi on his drunken way back from the tavern. He nearly blanked right down through it. It was crisp morning, and so researching sob safety safety, poor man at the last minute. Now, not for long though, a few nights afterward Baldwin was daggered in a brawl, but that's for another story. The renovation work were commissioned to the best team in Königstein, unfortunately the team has been split. Run group, group is responsible for re renovating the market while the other is assigned to work on the bridge, that causes delays, another reason. Maybe the unqualified workers assigned to work on the bridge along with the close proximity of Frisky moment in dear reader, dear reader, reading this note. If you value your life, look out for the hole in the bridge. Will you? Will do. And this is well, it is noticeable. Yeah, and this is by the way, then the right well, not the right exit, but that's the exit I've been actually talking about, right? We entered here, and it's quite funny that we are now basically after that, are standing right in the town and have this weird look into it, into the garden. This is something I found, uh, I'm not judging. It sometimes, I, I, I feel quite complainy here in this let's play. Forgive me that, by the way. 
I don't mean to be that complainy, and especially at an end of an episode, but that's what I'm, by the way, meaning. Look at this. Would you have expected that garden behind that? I certainly did not. And where's the bloody bridge on the other hand? Anyways, guys, that then, right now, is gonna bring us to the end of today's episode, and you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed today's episode, then please give me a tinsy little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you. Do we have to go, by the way? Oh, up there, right? In the next episode, until then, I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay frosty.